Motorola Edge 40 Pro Camera Test. Peace be upon you, my dear friends and followers of the channel. How are you today? I hope you are well and in good health. Today with you is a beautiful, new and important video for everyone. This video will be called the Motorola Edge 40 Pro Camera Test. But before watching the video, subscribe to the channel and like and share so that it reaches the largest number of people. Now let's watch the video and I hope you like it. We put the Motorola Edge 40 Pro through a battery of rigorous Xamarin camera tests to measure its performance in photo and video quality and zoom from an end-user perspective. In this video I'll explain how the device performed in a variety of tests and several common use cases and aim to highlight the most important results of our testing from through a snippet of captured data. Overview Main Camera Specifications Primary Camera 50MP 1-1.5 Sensor 1A micro M pixels, f/1.88 lens, autofocus, optical image stabilizer, ultra wide camera, 50MP 1/2.8 sensor, 0.64A micro M pixels, f/2.2 lens telephoto camera, 12MP 1/2.93 sensor, 1.22A micro M pixels, f/1.6 lens, autofocus pros good exposure overall especially indoors, low light and night shots natural white balance good detail and bright light good subject isolation in bokeh mode cons noise in bright light, especially in blue skies unnatural contrast on faces in high contrast scenes slow focus and slow capture repeated fusion effects, and color shift effects around cropped areas the Motorola Edge 40 Pro performed well in most areas of our image quality tests. When shooting still images. Subject exposure and white balance were nice in most test conditions, especially in low light and night shots. Autofocus did its job quickly and accurately in bright light, and the camera generally produced a good balance between texture and noise. However, our testers noticed some contrast issues in difficult, high contrast scenes, which may lead to clipping and tone compression. In video, the Motorola Edge 40 Pro ranks below the best devices in its class generally allowing the user to record high-quality videos in fairly static scenes. Video footage delivered accurate exposure and white balance, as well as acceptable levels of detail, albeit with some slight over-sharpening. Temporal noise was well under control with fairly static scenes. When moving around while recording, video stabilization wasn't always effective, resulting in noticeably more camera shake than on top of the line devices. Our testers found Zoom to be the area where the Motorola Edge 40 Pro has the most potential for improvement. With a dedicated zoom lens offering a 50mm equivalent focal length, results were very good around the 2x zoom factor, despite some noticeable image noise. However, when zoomed into the equivalent of 70mm, there was a noticeable drop in image quality, and at 100mm and longer focal lengths, images were largely unusable. However, the ultra-wide camera performed better, offering a wide field of view, 14 mm, and generally pleasing image quality. Friends and family The Motorola Edge 40 Pro performed well in our friend's family use case, producing good exposure and good detail in bright light scenes without too much contrast. In scenes with high contrast, the camera may sometimes have difficulty exposing. The performances in the friend's family night scenes were also excellent. Low lighting The Motorola also performed well in low light scenes, presenting faded scenes well, with good exposure as well as accurate and pleasing colors. However, texture rendering can suffer on moving objects. About Xamarin Camera Tests Xamarin camera evaluations are conducted in laboratories and in real-world situations using a variety of subjects. The results are based on objective tests, in which results are calculated directly by measurement software on our laboratory setup, and on perceptual tests, in which a sophisticated set of metrics allows a group of image experts to compare aspects of image quality that require human judgment. The smartphone testing involves a team of engineers and technicians for about a week. Image, zoom and video quality are scored separately and then combined into an overall score for comparison between cameras in different devices. For more information about the Xamarin camera protocol the Edge 40 Pro generally performs well when shooting still photos. In our testing, the device's main strengths in photography mode were its ability to deliver a fairly natural white balance across a variety of conditions 
including low light, overall exposure was fairly accurate, but some inaccuracies and contrast issues were noticeable in backlit scenes and scenes with strong contrast. The camera managed to maintain a good balance between image detail and noise reduction, producing good levels of detail. On the downside, our testers noticed some unwanted artifacts in the image including color quantization and fusion artifacts. Autofocus was generally accurate but slow in most conditions. Our experts were particularly impressed by the Edge 40 Pro's low-light performance. In low-light conditions, the camera was able to capture good exposure in nice colors. While the loss of detail was often noticeable on faces in portrait shots, detail was noticeably better in landscape shots making the Motorola a great choice for night landscape photography. Close-up photography Macro photography is a third use case score introduced with Xamarg version 5. It evaluates the camera's ability to capture detail at distances less than 10 cm and zoom as close to 1 to 1 as possible. The Motorola Edge 40 lets you get up close to the subject and its close-up images showed high levels of detail as well as well-controlled image noise. White balance was normal but in low light, the camera struggled with exposure, and autofocus had trouble locking onto the subject at times. Thanks to HDR, the Motorola Edge 40 Pro was generally able to deliver a wide dynamic range and reduce light clipping in high contrast scenes. However, this came at the cost of strong tone compression. This was very noticeable in bright, high contrast scenes, resulting in a veiling effect or underexposing the subject resulting in some dark artifacts as seen in the example below. Color rendition in bright outdoor light can be a bit washed out, but on the plus side, this resulted in a very natural rendering of the scene. Overall color performance was very reliable, with very good skin tones in outdoor and indoor scenes. In our tests, the Edge 40 Pro's autofocus showed plenty of light, but also some shadow. It did a great job of focusing on the subject, with very few F failures. However, there was a noticeable delay between pressing the shutter button and taking the photo, meaning it was easy to miss the crucial moment in a moving scene. In this simple scene, the camera was triggered when the model passed the wall to the right in the frame. In the resulting image, we can see that the image was taken with a slight delay, with the model actually approaching the camera. This lag doesn't happen on the best phones in their class, like the Honor Magic 5 Pro, Apple iPhone 14 Pro or Google Pixel 7 Pro, all of which take photos almost instantly. The camera provided a fairly wide depth of field, but testers noticed some loss of detail in the background, which is something to keep in mind when taking group photos with people at different levels in the scene. Noise levels measured in the laboratory were at a similar level to the comparison devices in low light, but slightly higher in bright light and under typical indoor lighting conditions. In objective testing, images showed a fairly high level of noise, especially when taken in indoor and outdoor conditions, compared to those found on reference devices. In test samples, image noise was well under control in most situations, especially on humans. However, image noise can be very annoying in blue skies. Some unwanted image artifacts were observed in the Motorola sample shots. The color shift in the sky was arguably the most disturbing but the effects of ringing and merging were also visible. The Edge 40 Pro uses a tele-module with a 50mm equivalent focal length for bokeh shots. This resulted in a relatively consistent bokeh effect, with good subject isolation. On the downside, noticeable levels of image noise were observed. Overall, the preview image on the Motorola display was very similar to the final capture. However, some differences were noticeable in terms of delivering texture and dynamic range in high contrast scenes. While the Motorola Edge 40 Pro offered a noticeably improved zoom experience over its predecessor, the Edge 30 Pro, the tele-zoom left some room for improvement. The dedicated 12MP2X telephoto camera module had difficulty producing a similar texture, noise trade-off to other devices in this category at medium and long range. At close range, Telephoto results were acceptable, however, and the 14mm Ultra Eyed camera provided decent image quality as well. Zoom in on the video when zoomed in video mode, the camera captured decent level detail up to 70mm, but after that, the overall image quality dropped dramatically. Despite this, 
zooming was very smooth and mostly stable. The Motorola Edge 40 Pro's ultra-wide camera offers a 14mm equivalent wide field of view. Image presentation was good in bright outdoor conditions, but overall image quality declined in indoor and low-light conditions, with reduced detail and higher noise levels. In lab tests, Detail preservation on the Edge 40 Pro was lower than comparable devices across the zoom range and in most light levels. But compared to the Edge 30 Pro, it was an improvement. If there's one area where the Edge 40 Pro could benefit from some improvements, it's telezoom. In our tests, the camera provided lower levels of detail across almost the entire telezoom range. The 12MP sensor with its Relatively short 50mm telezoom lens couldn't provide the texture and detail we've seen in the best in class devices, especially at medium and long range telezooms. Image quality decreased noticeably with longer telezoom settings. The level of detail captured was low, and some traces of over sharpening were visible. The Motorola Edge 40 Pro's video mode was tested at 4K and 30fps. The camera performed well in most conditions challenging the best devices in the premium category. Exposure, white balance, and autofocus were quite stable, with only some minor instability. In addition, noise levels were low in bright light and under typical indoor conditions. On the other hand, dynamic range was limited, resulting in light clipping and difficult, high contrast scenes. Our testers also found contrast a little harsh. In terms of video stabilization, Slight camera shake and sharpness differences between frames are noticeable. We also noticed some local noise on moving objects, as well as some texture artifacts in low light. The Motorola Edge 40 Pro provided good video exposure, with accurate brightness of objects, even in difficult situations. However, dynamic range was a little limited in most conditions. A slight clipping of both highlights and shadows can be observed. Color rendering and white balance were generally normal in most conditions. Some slight yellow-green tint could be observed in bright light, and on rare occasions, the skin tone display was inaccurate, especially indoors and in low light. Video autofocus was very fast and generally stable in all conditions. Slight steps and loss of sharpness during movement can sometimes be observed. In good light, the Edge 40 Pro captured high levels of detail in video mode. However, a slight loss of detail can be observed in difficult lighting conditions and in low light. Our testers also noticed some slight oversharing, as well as an occasionally unnatural rendering of the scene overall, due to texture integrity distortions on moving elements. Video noise was well under control in all lighting conditions. Local noise became visible with movement, especially in low light but overall noise management was one of Motorola's strengths in video mode. The video stabilization feature did an effective job of countering movement when walking with the camera while recording. However, some camera shake was still noticeable, as well as some frame shift distortion and sharpness differences between frames. The most common video distortions were well under control on the Motorola Edge 40 Pro, but our testers noticed some aliasing, more A tilde copyright, ringing, flare and color shifting near saturation among other distortions. At the end of the video, I thank you for watching and I hope you liked it, and see you in a new video.